Space is a lonely place. And no one ever really talks about it. When you're on your planet, all you want to think about, all you talk about, is leaving. Getting out into the galaxy to see the stars. Sometimes we get so focused on where we're going that we don't think about the time in between. You are so far away from home. There's no safety net. There's no one coming to save you. And you have to realize that. You have to accept that. Now, I'm not saying you have to know everything. But you have to know enough. You have to be strong enough, brave enough to make your way through it. And I'll be the first to admit, that's not easy. Far from it. And at first, when you first get out to space, there's a great sense of adventure. And joy, curiosity, wonder. And as you navigate further and further, you lose track of where you've been, where you've come from. Because you're so focused on going from one thing to the other. And of course, it's good to have that goal. But it's okay to take time for yourself. Why are you rushing? You don't need to be there that fast. You know you don't need to get there that fast. Slow down. Slow. 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 Take a breath. And remember that the journey isn't the destination. And remember that life isn't the destination. It's the journey. It's everything in between of where you're from and where you want to be. So take time to take in the moments because you don't get many. You will not see every star in the system. You just can't. you can appreciate the ones that you do see. Sometimes you're the only one that ever will. And in that sense, your love in that moment is the strongest thing in the galaxy. 
You are worthy of that. You deserve that. Now, we're approaching an undiscovered planet. I don't know what's down there. You don't know what's down there. And that is where the fun begins. That sense of discovery, that joy, Finding something new. There's nothing quite like it. I've been to many places. And every place you go. Has a story for you to carve out. The journey is for you, and that's the beauty of it. You get to decide. So, we're going to go and pick up the pace here a little bit. We're going to transition. From here to there. now approaching the planet. I see a lot of blue. Beautiful, isn't it? And I tell you, as a human, it's natural to recognize patterns. You may feel like you've seen it all. But there's nuance to the life out here. I don't know what to expect when we land. We're going to figure this out together. So sorry. I thought it was much further from hey, sometimes you're going to make those mistakes. You need to forgive yourself. It's okay. You're only human. And I may be the only human on this planet. A little further up here. Got 
got the sun rising. It's a new day on this planet. Let's land over here. First contact. Winds of glass. Very interesting. 104 degrees. So it's pretty hot down here. Very intriguing design. And as you know, part of the Discovery is learning more. That's when we use the analysis mode on our scanner. Let's scan this one right now. All right. And now we know it's a good source of carbon. There's got to be more plant life. Here we go. More carp. Do we have sentinels? I hear them. Perhaps they've gone. Sure, let's scan this one. All right. This planet is a very good source of carbon. In my many travels, I have to say, Carbon is probably the most underrated mineral. You can't buy it at the space stations. You have to find it for yourself. So there's incentive to explore to learn all you can about a planet. You just never know what it could give you. I want to get close to these things. They're a bit majestic, aren't they? It almost feels like they're floating, yet they're planted in the ground. Let's see what it is, shall we? You see, 
in the very short amount of time we've been on this planet. We've already found out this planet is abundant with carbon. And the beauty is already apparent. We have these purples, the oranges, yellow, light. We've got a green haze in the distance. Oh, how curious. It almost looks like they're rolling in place. Oh. I saw that. Did you see that? Something popping in and out of the ground. Oh, yes. You just never know. Obviously, we've already scanned them. Ah, yes, there's the sentinel. But we don't need to create conflict. Best to avoid them if we can. Now, if I go back into my scanner, we see these little symbols. We have copper, gold, silver. What else? Copper. Silver. More copper. Silver. Starship. Just gonna Take that in for a second. All right. Which one was the copper? I think it was this one. Nope. That one. I haven't mined for copper for a little while. So let's go get some of that. Just gonna run to it. That's a sentinel. Again, no need to involve ourselves with conflict with them. Survival is very often knowing when to engage in battle and when not to. Sounds so simple, but sound decisions are not always common, especially in a place you know nothing about. Let's see if they get mad when I take some carbon. Condensed carbon, I should say. Oh, 
over it, they don't seem to mind. Let's head to our cup. deposits. We use our manipulator to dig through the ground. And when it's empty, we charge it. Now, let's see what else. A rattle spine. I don't know what that is. Let's just take a look. Okay. Plenty of copper, silver. We're right under the ring. It doesn't look very lively. There is life, minerals, and beauty all around. I'm glad we decided to come to this planet. But really, there's not a planet I have been to that I've regretted. Sure, there's been some dangerous situations, planets I don't want to go to again. But I can't say I regret it. Because when you've been on a planet that is trying to kill you, you learn how to survive. You learn that you are capable. That you are strong and brave. And each step forward is a victory. Now we can see 
the light is starting to go down. We're getting the blue and the purples back on the surface. And the yellows and the orange are really starting to illuminate. Also, in every planet I have been to, the word beautiful always comes to mind. Even the planets that are deadly, even the dying, desolate, If you look for it, there is beauty out there. And I think the key is that you have to look for that. I wish I had known that for all of my journey. Like I said, sometimes we're so busy going from one place to another that we don't take the time to stop and look around. Does this lead us anywhere? Oh. That's a hazardous flora. As you can see, the gas will harm us, but if we mine it, it'll give us oxygen. And I don't know about you, but I'm a huge fan of oxygen. and carbon. have to see this. Yeah. I know. I'm using that word like it's going out of style, but it's just beautiful. See if we can find anything else on our scanner. Anything of interest? Well, I'm 
my scanner doesn't have the longest range. So if we keep moving forward, going a little bit further, maybe something new will pop up for us. Look at that. Now, this is where it might get tricky. Because when you start taking things of interest from a planet, the sentinels won't like it. But these will be valuable to us that we can sell. Because even all the way out here, money is important. Of course, it isn't everything. There we go. You see they're coming after us now. need to get away from them. And again, no need to further engage with them. Just need to stay out of their sight. And there we are, safe for now. Another rattle spot. It must be important. Well, let's jet. Perhaps there's more. Remember to take those times to be present in the moment. To let the beauty take over you.
because this is what it should be about. Finding beauty in the unknown. And if you never leave the planet you're on, you may never see it. Just look at all the stars in the sky out there. Your story is out there. You just have to be brave enough to believe in yourself. That doesn't mean that you have to be a hundred percent sure of what you want to do or who you even are because I promise you as you grow and the more you learn anything that interests you that's when you start to find out who you are And for me personally, I'm still on that journey. Sometimes it's hard to know Impossible, perhaps, of what the next step is. Because don't get me wrong, sometimes you find yourself going in the wrong direction. But the most important step anyone can take is the next one. And eventually, you'll start to figure it out. That doesn't mean you'll have all the answers. just means that you'll have a better sense of where you want to go next. Let's open our scanner back up. See if there's anything else. Look at that. It's like the sun is just giving a nice warm hug. I 
happen on planets where it's so hot and storms come riding in that without this suit, without all this technology to protect me, a journey would simply not be possible. So I do appreciate the protection it allows me. And that's why I don't want to take for granted the fact that there isn't environmental hazards thus far. I don't have to worry about radiation or if you've ever been in the middle of a superheated storm then you'll know this is very nice simply to put it's very nice to be able to walk through and not worry so much. All right. Ancient data structure. You see? Because we kept moving forward, making our way through, we've discovered something ancient. Navigation. Before I start doing anything, just for safety, I'm going to call my ship here. Because you never know if sentinels might start coming after us. We'll take everything in that we can. Last one. Oh. There is a sentinel, but they don't seem interested in us. That's good. A new plant to discover. All right. I'm going to run up here.
back in, just taking that little bit of time to take it in, because so often the case in space exploration, you'll only see a planet once. So, allow yourself to take that time, however you want. To make a moment. I'm going to open my scanner one more time. Silver, gold, silver, anything else? Gold, Axabay. feel like our time is well spent. So let's head back to the spaceship. to do is before I leave a planet whoa is the crash into it no 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 that's not it is to just do a quick little flyover one last way to enjoy it say thank you and to show my appreciation this is really Now, we're back in space. And we're going to head to the space station. We're going to find out how valuable our discoveries were. To 
me that's part of the process. This allows me to keep going, to keep venturing. Like I said, money isn't everything. But we live in the real universe. Everything has a price. And if I want to experience life, I need to be able to afford to. So, that sack of venom, those two, for 119,000 units, not bad at all. A rare, stabilized glitch retrieved from a manufacturing planet, safe for rehousing in habitable bases. I think we'll hold on to that then. There's no rush. Perhaps later on. We'll find out the real value of it. And again, without trying to sound like a broken record, I don't need to rush to the next thing. Just take some time to rest, to cool down, to recharge. Good night, and remember, don't ever stop counting the stars, 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 stars. Each of them have a story. Each of you have a story. Remember that, be kind to yourself. <laughs>